Hey everyone, this is Sultan with MailMint and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can collect leads using Bricks form and then automate email marketing for your leads using MailMint. That's right. Now there is a special integration between MailMint and Bricks so that you can collect leads and then automate email marketing for your leads easily. Let me show you how that works. As you can see, I'm on my MailMint uh, contacts page. I don't have any contacts added yet. Uh, and this is a page I created using Bricks, and this is a Bricks form. Let me show you. As you can see, this is the Bricks editor. I've uh, placed this form on this page. So if I click on this, this is going to open up the settings for this form. Now, there's a couple of things I want you to uh, remember. First, you can see for the form, you can name it from here. So let me name it. Uh, let's get in touch. Remember this name because this is something you will need when you're going to create the automation workflow in MailMint. And the second thing you need to remember is you need to go to actions and then change the action to custom. Okay. And then save it. So this is important so that it allows custom automation actions to take place after the form is submitted. Okay. So once this is set up, let me just reload it just in case. And now once my form is ready, I'm going to create an automation workflow in MailMint. So let me go to MailMint and go to automations. And here, let me create a new automation and I'll start from scratch. So first, let me name this automation. Let's say I'll name it Bricks Automation. And then I'm going to select a starting point. So if you click on starting point, you can see there's a tab called Bricks. You can click on the tab and then you'll find this trigger called after form submission. What this means that whenever someone will submit a Bricks form, this automation will be triggered. If you click on this, it will let you choose what form are you referring to. So I just created a form. Remember, if I click on this, it gives him the option to choose that form. Let's get in touch. So I'm just going to choose that form. It means whenever someone submits that particular form, this automation workflow will be triggered. And then I can actually map out the fields that are available in the field to match with MailMint's fields. So I had email field, I had first name field, and I had a last name field. So whenever you have any additional fields in your Bricks form, you make sure that you have to create custom fields in MailMint so that you can, you know, configure them over here as well. Okay. Now, once this is ready, now you can add actions to this workflow that should be uh, executed once someone enters this automation workflow. So let's say I'll start off by choosing the action, create contact and assign it a status subscribed. What I'm doing here is that whenever someone submits this form, I'm going to make sure they're added to MailMint as subscribed rather than in a pending status. Normally, when someone is in a pending status, it means that they'll be sent a double opt-in email if that is enabled in MailMint or they'll not be part of any email campaigns. So what I want is whenever someone submits a form, they directly get added in a subscribed status. So that's why I'm just going to add this action called create contact and assign the status subscribed. Next, let's say I want to add the person to a particular list. So I'll choose add to lists and then I'm going to choose a list I have or I can create one. So let's say I'm going to add them to this list that I have called bricks. After that, I'm going to add a time delay for one minute. And after that, I, let's say I want to send out an email. So in this email, you can design it using the MailMeets email builder. You can change the subject line, the preview text, just like you would normally create an email. Okay, so I'm not going to show them here because in this video, I want to focus on showing you how this whole process of creating automation workflow and the forms for breaks works together, right? So once you're ready with this, just click on start workflow and this automation workflow will be live. What this means is now whenever someone submits that breaks form, they will enter this automation workflow. So let's go ahead and submit that form to see what happens. So let me just input my contact information. And let me submit. And there you go. The form has been submitted successfully. Now let's go back to MailMint. Remember I told you that I don't have any contacts added yet. So let's go to contacts and see. There you go. You can see my email has been added. My name is there. My last name is there. And I have been added to this list called Bricks. Now all this has been done due to that automation workflow. So let me go to that automation workflow. Let's go to automations and go to Bricks automation that I just created. And this will take you to the workflow. You can enable the stats to see how many people entered. As you can see, I'm the first one to submit that form. So you can see one person entered. There is great contact. 
I've been added to the list and I'm in the time delay. So after one minute is over, I'll be getting this email as well. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create uh, an automated system where you collect leads using the Bricks form and then you automate email marketing for those leads easily. Okay. So if you're a Bricks user, I'm sure you love MailMint for email marketing. So go ahead and give it a try. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my future videos. Take care.